Dan's Crypt. The best place to go if you're looking for a dead Dan. Ah, a training room, eh? Nice decor. Early macabre. That is a rune key, Dan. Place it in the claw of the rune gate and open sesame! Done. What? Suddenly I can do no joke. The Hall of Heroes, where heroes are allowed to store their umbrellas and raincoats. Fortescue, you must stop stalking me. Or I will call my cousin, who is a police horse. <laughs> Only for fun, of course. <laughs> he doesn't the money need. He just likes the underclasses to trample. Perhaps I should try slumming it occasionally. But then I talk to you. You are the yin to my aristocratic yang. Do you see? <laughs> Enough small talk. A final gift for you. A magic longbow, no less. Of course, a simple person like you should find its raw power very pleasing. Personally, I prefer something in gold. Dan, you're a veritable star, though sadly I fear one destined to work in radio. I'd shake you by the hand were it not for the unfortunate side effects. Get your potato-shaped bottom in my boat, and let's hit the haunted ruins. Passage to the haunted ruins. If a person were determined to make their way to the haunted ruins, they could do a lot worse. It's up to you now, Dan. The fourth and final piece of the Anubis Stone lies among this crumbling fortress. The fate of all Gallomir now rests upon your bony shoulders. But hey, no pressure.
Thank you, greedy chickens. We are in. Ha, now to find your old friend, King Peregrine. Help us! Oh, help us! Free us before we're dropped on them there spikes. Passage to the Haunted Ruins. If a person were determined to make their way to the Haunted Ruins, they could do a lot worse. It's up to you now, Dan. The fourth and final piece of the Anubis Stone lies among this crumbling fortress. The fate of all Galomir now rests upon your bony shoulders. But hey, no pressure. Thank you, greedy chickens. We are in! Ha! Now to find your old friend, King Peregrine! Free us before we're dropped on them there spikes! Welcome to my humble shop. Spend freely. There's no pockets in a shroud, tidy.
Sir Daniel Fortescue, noblest of my courtiers, bravest of my captains, clumsiest of my croquet team. Oh, that we should meet at such a dark hour, with the fate of this realm lying once again in your hands. Good Lord Fortescue, what happened to your jaw? Mm -hmm. Bad luck, old man. Dashed awkward for the meat course, what? Can I get you a soup or something? <laughs> oh, of course. My new bestone is yours, old man. Can't think of a better chap to look after it. However, slightly more pressing concern is that the Shadow Demon Army hides beneath us, within this very mountain. As we speak, they prepare to invade good old Galomir. If we're to thwart that arch-cad Zarak, we must bring down the castle on top of them. You follow? Simple solution, of course. Someone must unleash the lava behind the castle floodgates. Burn the blighters where they stand, or even where they sit. <laughs> Probably hurt more. I knew you'd volunteer. What a man. A secret passage behind the throne will give you access to the gate's control lever. You just have to pull it. Of course, it's a highly dangerous mission, even for a dead man. I dare say that when that fiend sees what you've done, he'll make sure you spend eternity in the most unspeakable torment. But then I know these things mean nothing to a man of your courage, eh, Fortescue? Mm -hmm. Splendid! Good luck, old bean. Break a leg. Mm -hmm. By the socks of my father, the castle's coming down! Kill these guardians so we can blow this joint. Hurry, Dad! We don't have long! Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. I went to the Hall of Zeros once. It's quite dull, but at least they don't all make chicken noises when your back's turned. Ha! 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 Daniel, there you are, my lovely. I was so worried when you left. Come over here, where I can look at you. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you look weaker than a kitten. A kitten has been chewed up by a Welsh collie. <laughs> I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Don't listen to anyone else. 
the laughing hordes and the thousands who mock you, who call you Target Face. Mm -hmm. They don't know you the way I do, Daniel. And I'm going to help you prove them wrong. Being an indomitable Celtic superwoman, I, of course, have an array of magic lightning bolts at my disposal. Yeah, I'll let you use them too. Be careful with them, though. They cause terrible scorch marks on natural fibers. <laughs> On board the ghost ship. How do ghosts tie their ships up at a dock? Surely the rope would slip between their ghostly fingers. Stowaway on board. I've told the men to scour the decks for him. Excellent! And once you has catched him, scour the decks with him. Use his nostrils as a dust buster and his armpit hair as a mop. <laughs> Is that absolutely necessary? Couldn't we just give him a good tongue lashing and drop him off at the next port? There'll be no tongue lashing on my ship, Mr. Mate! We be bloodthirsty cutthroats, not cantankerous air dressers. Now, I want that landlubber dangling from yonder yard arm. Boy, his bowels! Hmm, how horrid. He won't cause us any problems anyway. He can't access this section of the ship. I've had the men barricade us in. Ah, why do you always barricade us in together, weirdo? Oh, just get on with it. Catch that scurvy bilge rat. We need to get control of this ship. It is our only way. That, my brother, is one big gun. I bet it needs loads of gunpowder. Not cup gun. We need more powder kegs.
Hello, stranger! What can I sell you today? A nice bit of schmatter? Hello, stranger! What can I sell you today? A nice bit of schmatter?
That is enough! Any more gunpowder and that huge cannon will put us into orbit! Okay, my friend, it is time to test this cannon out. I'll light the fuse, then we climb in quick. Got that? Oh, don't be such a baby. I will be fine. I will be safe inside your head. As for you, well, just try to land on your toughest point. Hang on, I've not thought this through.
<laughs> we have taken the sheep, lowered the whatnot, hoist the doohickey, um, something to the anchor. Anyway, steer a course for Zarok's lair. <laughs> Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. I went to the Hall of Zeros once. It's quite dull, but at least they don't all make chicken noises when your back's turned. Ha! 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 Herr Fortescue, you have come to visit me again, yeah? You look a little battered and weak, for sure. You should make better use of your magical shield. The magical shield is the foremost scientific weapon in the... <laughs> okay, then for now, we will concentrate on reviving your strength for the fight ahead. Drink this potion to feel as mighty and warrior-like as Karl Sterngard himself. But nicked so handsome, of course. Hmm. Mm hmm. Zarok's lair. Ooh, scary. Oh, it's you. Uh, <clears throat> actually, we never thought you'd get this far. I don't really have anything written down. Uh, hang on. Uh, okay, here goes. Your final encounter! Damn. Sorry. Pressure. Your final encounter, that's better, with Zarok awaits beyond this point. He has surrounded himself with his unnatural bodyguards. You've always had our suspicions about that lot. But you may yet even the odds by calling upon the powerful magic of the Anubis Stone. Good luck, third annual Forteth girl. Oh, look, that'll have to do. Now go on and die quietly. Some of us are trying to read. Ha! Ah, this is it! The final showdown! Finally, you can prove yourself as warrior! Be brave, Sir Fortescue! And remember, we have all pieces of the Anubis Stone! Oh, and if it looks like you're going to lose, don't let him hit you in the head. I've got the place just how I want it now. Sir Fortescue, my old nemesis, so we meet again. <laughs> I see. That a century spent as rotting meat has done nothing to diminish your naive obsession with the freedom of Galomir. Do you remember my champion, the late Lord Cardon? Well, guess what? He's back! <laughs> and he says he's looking forward to shooting you in the other eye. You know, for old time's sake. <laughs> and while Lord K prepares for your rematch, he sent some of his soldiers so you don't get bored.
You dare defeat Lord Cardock. At least I won't miss mucking out his stable. But of course, Fortescue, you still have to die. Prepare the attack, my beautiful Fazgolds. Interesting Fazgol factor. Did you know that Fazgolds are impervious to mortal weapons? It's really quite fascinating. So unless you're hiding a ghostly penknife or a spectral billiard ball in a sock, this battle is going to be very short and uninspired. Goodbye, Fortescue. Okay, time to fuse the Anubis Stone! What's that? The Anubis Stone! Oh, this is going to be good. Fortescue, what's a gangling dullard like you hope to do with the sacred stone? Some of the most learned sorcerers in history have been driven mad trying to understand its elusive mysteries. But don't let me dampen your optimism, my lord captain of the King's Croquet team. Suburb.
Use the Anubis Stone to keep your troops fighting fit! Fortescue, 40, baby. You are full of surprises. Who could have foreseen that my Fazgal horde would be bested by a rancid ignoramus and his flybait army? But how are you with creeping things, Fortescue? Obviously, you're fond of worms. You've shacked up with them for a century. But how are you with snakes? Hmm? Do they scare you? Big snakes? Find them agreeable, do we? How about huge, monstrous snakes, Forty, darling? How about... Me! Hit him in the mouth! He don't like... Ah, his mouth, his mouth done. His mouth. <laughs> His mouth! His mouth! Get his mouth! Oh! 
Helden! Wir hexen! The tip of his tail, Dan! It is his sensitive spot! Curse you, Fortescue, curse you, curse you, Thricehold. So, it's come to this. I am finally defeated, painfully, ignominiously, but particularly painfully. But, 
if I am to fail, then all shall perish with me. I didn't get to be the embodiment of evil without maintaining certain traditional standards. You are doomed, Fortescue. You will never leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Now that was an evil laugh. And so Sir Daniel Fortescue finally earned his place in the Hall of Heroes. Down on the right, past the one who looks like a pantomime horse with a dodgy accent. And Galomir, fair Galomir, was freed from the yoke of evil. The sun beamed down from the heavens once more. Small children skipped and ducks could paddle the ponds in safety. Zarok, the most vicious, most malignant, most foul of creatures, was utterly vanquished. This time never to return. Well, assuming there isn't a sequel.